Hello, hard hats, and welcome back to Construction Simulator. Back at work doing the entrance for the stadium uh, campaign. Uh, looks like my first job of today is trying to figure out where my camera is. Uh, that'd be a good, good one. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's my crane. Uh, yeah, we need to get pallets of metal elements. So let's go ahead and get those and put those in place. I did have a quick look on how to actually pour concrete with this thing. I got to buy the bucket, I do believe, at the building materials uh, building. And there are different size buckets. And then we fill it off with our mixer. So I, I, I'm just getting kind of ready because I don't know if we're going to be there today or not. But we could be. I mean, we are halfway done with the job. So the building's getting taller as we move along. So at some point... From what Sammy said, I think we will need it. But can we trust Sammy? I have no idea. Right, there's one of those. Let's try to get the ones that are double stacked. On top of other material. That way I don't have to move it around later on. Just makes it a little bit easier. So you go here. And then I'm going to assume the other one goes to our left somewhere. Uh, yep, there it goes. All right, so at least we know. Watch out for the, yep, that building that you poured concrete last episode. Let's, let's try to avoid hitting those if we can. And probably have to go unpack this material. Uh, ceiling components. We gotta do. Uh, we gotta move three of them, so I don't have to unpack any material. Okay. And then after this is what was it? Was it fifteen to do the other one last time? I think it was. Let's grab this one right here. Start swinging around. Hey, is it good? Nope, gotta go right here. Nope, nope, crane, crane, slow down, crane. You gotta go right here for one of them. I did see one over by the steamroller. Well, that's not a steamroller. A steamroller is for asphalt. That's a soil compactor. I think that I saw a ghost image over by the soil compactor. Want to make sure I get that right. Yep, bang the lights as one does. Uh, looks like they both go over here, the other two, so... Now we know. Slowly getting rid of the building material that we purchased on day one of the job. Still a good amount of material here, though. But by the end of the episode, maybe we'll dwindle it down enough to what looks like nothing. All right, whole bunch of uh, stuff got spawned, so 15 ceiling elements. Not sure I like the camera position of my crane. Let's try a little bit higher so we don't keep clipping into the building. Well, if it's like the previous one, uh, nope. All right, so I think it is kind of like the previous ceiling that we did. But we built it off to the left. This one we're building off to the right. We did start work this morning right at dawn. So we should go quite a ways before we get any coffee breaks.
I am kind of interested in seeing how pouring the concrete with the crane is going to work. I don't know how much the bucket is going to be able to hold. So maybe in the future, if it does well, I might use it more often. But I got a funny feeling the bucket's not going to be able to hold that much. But I might be surprised. Put you right here. I think next step is going to be though pouring concrete for the ceiling. piece underneath this one uh, no okay so all the rest of the pieces are gonna be where the first one we put down is I would assume over here somewhere yes that's where they are This is the uh, the fourth of the five jobs we got for the stadium campaign, I do believe. I wonder when we get done with the entire campaign, are, are there going to be like a lot of people here? Are we going to hear like the crowd cheering? Is there going to be actually players on the field? Probably not that far. Well, I don't know. The, uh, the spaceport with the launching of the rocket was pretty animated. So maybe we'll have, you know, during the cutscene they may show a game. But maybe just during regular going around the map will just be like people roaming around the area. I hope we can go inside the stadium after it's all built. Just apparently three more pieces for this stage. And I hope the concrete pump, when I do use it today, acts just like it did last episode. Had no issues with it whatsoever. If I do start to have issues with it, I think I'll put it into the vehicle hall for about 30 seconds and then take it back out because that's what I did last time. But I think I also mentioned in last episode there was an update to the game and I still haven't found no patch notes of what they did. So maybe they kind of addressed that a little bit. All right, and yep, pour the ceiling. But before we do that, because we're in the crane, let's get some of the concrete elements. I need two of them, and they need to go somewhere. Didn't see any ghost images right away, so this time I'll swing to the right. Over to the right somewhere. What do we got? Anything? All right, let's uh, take a 
Of course. Yeah, watch out for the concrete pump. Oh, uh, yeah, that might be might be a little bit of an issue. I think we will uh, <laughs> pour the ceiling and then I'll move these. I, I probably have to move them anyways to get the ceiling done. All right, let's see what we can reach where we're at. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get this done from where we're at, but we'll get most of it done, I think. Okay, this is reaching farther than I thought it would. I think I'm hitting the building between us here. I can't lower the boom anymore. So we'll just have to pour it from this height. can tell. It's going to take a moment to get used to the uh, controls again. Get the feel for them as the day goes on. Let's uh, turn the camera here to like right about there. And we are out of concrete. by little we'll get this done before we move Oh, up to 30 percent so that's not too bad so we should get around what 60 percent done before we have to move seems about right like to get this whole section done without having to refill with concrete before I move it, but I don't think that's going to happen either. Well, 54%. Oh, yeah, there goes the concrete. We're out. I wonder what the building is going to look like when I finish today. See if we can get a better idea of the final project of what the entrance will look like. I 
Yeah, someone did mention about maybe switching over to the only one concrete pump, but that would not even uh, probably even reach up here. May be able to reach the edges, but that's about it. All right, this is all I'm going to get done with this. Uh, let's go ahead and reset that. Let's go move the cement mixer. And we'll just park that, like, right here for now. Watch out for that tree. And then you know the next floor, they'll have me working on the other side of the building, so I'll have to move the pump again. Oh, and also where I'm getting ready to park, that's where everything likes to spawn as well. So the heck with that. I'm just going to park it right there. I didn't mean to actually stop the pump there because it's at the corner, but that's perfect. So, let's open up the hopper. Uh, a little bit too far back. And hopefully that's lined up well enough. Pretty good. Trying to bring it a little bit closer. And that should be close enough. I should be able to finish this off the way it is. Although we did have one section before where I had to cover just about every square inch to get the job 100% done. Feels like my pump. Oh, I see. Okay, I see what's going on there. All right. Oh, we're empty. I was like, the boom seems to be going kind of slowish. Steady, but slow. <laughs> yeah, that's because you're hitting the top of the building as you're trying to pour. Hope I can get the last nine percent here. Uh, I may have to look around here to get the last 
Oh, 3%. Can I get the pump close enough here? Yeah, maybe not. All right, so I got some pieces out here that I can get. Maybe you can see the low spots, at least I can. Well, fiddle with it enough, you can find the right spot to get into. <laughs> yeah, let me go ahead and just leave that right there for now. It would have been a lot faster if I just went ahead and moved everything, but I was being stubborn about it and like, I gotta get this last 1% from here. Try to find the right way to bend the pump, not bend the pump, but flex the pump. See if I can get closer, and I just couldn't get closer. Uh, no matter all the angles I was trying. Anywho, we got it done. Alright, this needs to go where the uh, cement mixer was. Alright, now we'll move these two. I think we're on the third floor currently. That's what we're working on. I mean, this is just the entrance. Why does the entrance need to be so tall? Unless it will hook up to the stands, but the stands are not that tall. As for the seating area. I think all my questions will be answered. Not this episode, but next episode. I think next episode we might get the entrance done. Or who knows? I might be surprised and... We could zip this out today. I don't think so. I was kind of shocked when I was doing the VIP seating how I got, when I got that job done, I got that done in that episode. Um, unpack construction material and pour the walls. Well, let's run inside the building and we'll get these unpackaged. Pretty sure it's just going to be the inside walls and rooms that go in here. And then I'll probably take a coffee break for the morning because it is getting rather late into the evening. And we know it'll take me a while to pour the walls. Can I jump out somewhere? Oh, we got to put stuff up here. Um, can I hurdle this? Oh, we can. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll get these things up there. Well, I say they're up there. That's where I saw the ghost images. There might be some on the ground. Uh, yep, yeah, you need to go... Yeah, I think everything does go up here.
then you go around here. All right, and then five of the metal elements. We do got plenty of those. Let's get the ones that are double stacked because this one's kind of like teetering on edge. We're all about safety at Nailed It. Uh, yeah, I think I can get around the pump. I kind of said it with a half smile on my face when I said we'll remove a lot of that stuff today. We're off to a good start. Get this one right here. And then once we get the last one, we will skip to the morning. And this one will bring this way. a little bit of overtime today. Slowly but surely that pile is getting smaller and smaller. I'll raise the crane up because that way if the wall does need to get built the crane won't be in the way. Actually, I probably should spin it around because I do need to pour the walls there so the pump will be over here shortly, I would assume. Okay, we'll leave that there. All right, coffee break. Morning. All right, let's turn on the mixer and maybe get two of the walls done before we got to move. Wait, did I not? What did I just do? I thought I turned on the pouring. How come I don't hear it going out? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Am I too close for this one now, too? I might be. Probably got to move the pump because I can't get the boom in any tighter than it was. At, oop, maybe I can. That was going to fold up on me, but it's not just yet. 85. And if I can get some down in this corner here. I'm trying to raise the boom up higher and get it closer, but I don't think I can do it. All right, let's just get over to the other one and I'll have to move the pump over. 
this one we should have no problem getting 100 percent done Not before we run out of concrete mix. That one's done. All right, let me just uh, reset that. Driving mode. Now, a lot of the flexibility from the pump is being taken up because of the height that we're starting to have to go. I don't think there's going to be enough in the pump to get this last 10%, right? Not quite. Alright, open up the hopper. Just get the last 8%, whatever it is at this point, and just to move it again. And done. <laughs> uh, probably should have left it here. I just realized unpack construction material just came up. So probably got to pour a floor or something there, but oh, that's a steady wall. You're not going to knock that over. Oh, I'm taking a snow runner where I can knock the walls over. Wrong game. Let's just go ahead and we'll park this or at least put it here for working area. I'll do open up the hopper we all know the routine by now I say I'm getting good at backing that up, but I mean, I am doing it quite a bit. So, I mean, practice makes perfect, but yeah, we're backing up to that almost perfectly every time. Wait, did I not turn that on? Alright, I mean, I was... Uh, okay, so apparently it's not going in. Alright, so you just bragged about it, and, and, and then that happens.
Will I have enough to get the job done? That's the question. And the answer is yes. Just about. Just enough. Alright, we'll move that out of the way. Alright, we got a couple things to unpack. Just need to find some stairs. Uh, Alright, we'll go up here. Get my exercise in for the day. That was this one right here. I had oh gotta be on this side apparently. Mysterious metal. That's what you want to be putting up in your building. Deliver a uh, prefabricated wall element timber. Okay, so that is going to require... Uh, is my truck even over here? Yes, it is. Not sure exactly where it's parked, but it's over here somewhere. Okay, I see where we're at. Uh, prefab pre yeah, prefabricated walls usually are down here. So let's go ahead and fast travel. See if we're at the right building for the material that we're picking up. Let's hear me run out of breath by jogging five feet. Uh, six and six. So that's a total of 12, four fit in each. So I'm going to have three packages to pick up, apparently. But of course, I can only take two at a time. I'll try a third one. Yeah, okay. Almost up to 5 million euros in our bank account, which is nice. Uh, where are we at here? Okay. I think if we just pull in right here, this would be a good spot. Let's see if I can unpackage these today. Ah, two times, not too bad. And one time. Don't know if they're going to be... Looks like they're all the solid walls. So, pretty much is not going to matter too much where they go. Although, I am going to probably have to spin them around to get them to load in place. Another solid wall. I know they're not all the same. I am seeing some different variations up here. Doesn't really matter which one I pick up. They all got to go up there, right? All right, another solid wall. How about if I just uh, 
drop it and drag it over. Is that going to be close enough? Oh, the other, that will work. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where are you going here? All right, this one will do. Not quite going to trust that one because it'll probably fall a lot further than I want it to. And I believe this one goes to the far left. get the other smaller pieces in before we go pick up one more crate of these so if you were paying attention when I was down there just a second ago we will have more for another stage to pick up as well. Well, this one can go right here. truck is empty. Well, almost empty. We got the crate still on here. Oh, first try. Nice. And first try today on this one as well. All right, back down to here. And we'll grab the last crate for this stage. I'm actually going to drive all the way over to here. Now I got less area to run. Uh, two packages left. Well, I'll grab them. Uh, <laughs> I may have grabbed more than what I need. So hopefully I can figure out which four I do need when I get up there. I got two crates, which means four pieces. I got a total of eight pieces, but I need four more pieces to complete the stage. <laughs> All right, see if we can figure it out once we get up to the crane what pieces I need to grab here. Hmm, these crates are working rather well today. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. What what am I looking for here? Like windows? All right. So we, we need the ones with the windows on it, it appears. Uh, that's a single window. And I don't think this is a piece I need. So I'm going to guess it's going to be from the other crate. Can I plop this back in here? That way if I need to move this, I can. Ooh. Uh, well, I think I could if I lined it up <laughs> better than that. But it looked like it was green to me like it would go in. Ah, I got some columns to pour. Nope, it took care of it for me. Never mind. All right, so I'm going to assume this one goes on the opposite side. So one piece goes there. Let's get this piece in and see what happens next. Well, let's go ahead and move the pallets while we're in the crane. Uh, where are they going though? Uh, two of them over by the soil compactor. That's all I can see right now. So we'll grab, grab those first. And then maybe the other ones will, or the other one will show itself. It doesn't say to move any of my equipment. So I'm not parked over it that I know of. Uh, okay, but now we see it's right next to the truck. Yep, clearing that space out quite a bit today. And the way it's going, uh, we're going to be somewhat near the 25% of getting the job done today. I think the first day we did get up to 25%, then we got like 52 or 53%, and right now we're at 70 So we're slowly getting there to that 75%. And then we need one of these. And the truck may be in the way, but I think it to give me the, the stage to put those in. So 
So while we're in the crane, yeah, I'll move the truck in a minute there. After I take care, I'm, I'm thinking it's these. No, it must be the the ceiling components that I put there. All right, let's see if I can drop this back into the crate this time. Yeah, okay, so it's not going to snap in on its own. <laughs> that's that's fine. That'll do, I think. One of the three. Not, you know, correctly placed, but it still took it. Then we'll see if we can pour the ceiling on the other side. Or is this where I'm going to start needing the bucket at some point? Uh, well, you know what? We're in the crane, and I would like to get that wall done. Only because if I were to save and exit the game, I don't know what might happen to this wall that's down here. So let's, let's hope that this is... Uh, it looks like the one that needs to go up there. And then we'll get those right off the truck. Two more. Uh, where are you going? All right, you're going way over here. And I think while as I say often enough, we're in the crane. Might as well go ahead and get those, uh, I'm not sure what they are. Precast element concrete. They're on the other side. Might as well get those in place. So is this actually going to be seating? It kind of looks like it might be seating up here. Can 
can tell the end of the day is getting near. I'm getting sloppy. More than usual, though. It's always sloppy, but sloppy for my standards. <laughs> Just trying to get done that a little bit more. Perfect. Four more. All right, we'll do four more. <laughs> so I think I am going to be cutting out a little bit of me trying to fill in that ceiling in the early stages today of trying to get the ceiling up to 100%. I think I'll fiddle around for about five minutes just trying to get that last percentage so I can cut that out. Don't need to be, need to be watching me trying to get that last percentage. Plus, it would also be good to get up to 75% done, right? Hard work of the day. There. Uh, I'll move the crane over to this side because I'll be going down getting the wall or the prefab walls. Because we need to do that, of course. So let's get rid of the ones that are here. So the pump did pretty good today. Didn't have any trouble with it. And these crates didn't really fight with them too hard either. Uh, so there we have it. 75% of the entrance is done. So in theory, by the way it's been going, we should be done with it next episode. Uh, so do stay tuned. But if you made it in this far in the video, you know the routine by now. Hit that like button if you could. It helps out the channel more than you know. And also, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button as well. But that is where we're going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here at Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.